Hello, good evening. Hello. Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. How are you? Good, you, teacher. Very well, thank you for asking. How okay, your, teacher. How was your, your day? How was your day? How was your day? Uh, very good. Hi. I, I work today. You work. And the yes. others? Okay, thank you. And of the mass and the others? You know the mass and the others? How was your day? Como estuvo su día? How was your day? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, hello. Was a busy day. Was a busy day, oh my goodness. As every single day, right? Como cada día, as every single day. Busy days. Okay. How was your day, Carla? Maria? Good, teacher. Oh, nice. Excellent. Good to know. Rafa, how was your day? Excellent, teacher. I am a day in my home. Um, I go to the merchant and the building, the San Salvador, the shopping, and my, 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 my sister. Oh, nice. So you uh, had a, a day off, Via Libre. You had a day off. And day for, uh, um, I work in tonight. Oh, so, so you had a day off, but you're working tonight. I'm sorry for you. Yes, yes. No problem. All right. Okay, let's see here. Hello, Christina. Hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Excellent. Nice. With Very traffic. Good. Excellent. <laughs> okay. Uh, hello, Hector. Hello, teacher. How do you feel today? Uh, I'm fine. I'm a little pretty tired. Pretty tired. It's normal. <laughs> after <laughs> a hard day. Of, yeah, after a hard day of work. Being tired my is, mind. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Exhausted. <laughs> Hello, Irma. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Very fine. Oh, nice. Good to know. Hello, Mahu. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How do you feel? Oh, nice, very good. Good to know. So, um, okay, everybody. So we are about to start. Estamos a punto de, de dar inicio. Just let me check something quickly here, okay? Um, well, solo recordar que para, para mañana, for tomorrow, estamos cerrando semana 2, ¿verdad? Y para mañana hay dos cosas que hacer, okay? Antes de la sesión, el examen medio y las tareas de la sección 2, ok, son dos cosas para mañana, recuerden, si recuerdan las instrucciones del principio, deben hacer el examen medio, plus, más las tareas de la sección 2, ok, son dos cosas, ok, so please, y si no han trabajado en eso, you can work tomorrow or tonight, I don't know, ok, para que antes de la sesión estén listas las, las tareas, de acuerdo, please, déjenme ir por un lapicero, ok, no tengo lapicero por acá, give me a second, I'm back. All right. Uh, so just reminder, right? Recordatorio nuevamente. Reminder again. Para mañana tenemos que trabajar las tareas de la sección 2. Plus the exam, the midterm exam, okay? Más el examen medio, plus the midterm exam, okay? Dos cosas para mañana, two things for tomorrow. Antes de la sesión, por favor, before the session, please. Okay, uh, so let's start and let me pass the attendance then. Okay, let's see, Carlos. Present teacher. All right. Cristina. Present teacher. Okay, Daniel. Daniel. 
Danielle, no rain. Doris, Raquel. Present teacher. Okay, thank you, Rachel. Ellen Nielsen. Kelsey. Hazel. Kelsey is connected, right? Hector. Present teacher. Irma. Here, teacher. All right, Javier. Johnny. Jose Mauricio. Give me a second, please. Deme, deme un minuto, por favor. Give me a second. Hola para todas las chicas del grupo. Feliz día del de ayer, mejor dicho. De parte, de mi parte. Gracias, compañero. Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias. Gracias, mamá. Sorry, lo siento. Yo me felicité, Gaby, porque no tengo experiencia todavía. Me too. I found you saying happy Mother's Day, right? All right, let's see, Lucy. Present. Majo. Rafael. Santos. Present teacher. Ulises. Present teacher. Wendy. Jessica. Carla María. Present. En Carla Raquel. Present teacher. Okay, thank you very much. All right, so um. Well, uh, let's start then with uh, with today's class. Empecemos con la clase de hoy. Let's start with today's class and well, with, with the content, right? With with the content, con el contenido. Uh, just before we go to the content, um, we have something pending from the last class, okay? Hay algo pendiente de la clase anterior. We have something pending from the last class. Just give me a second. Let me look for it. I have it here. My computer is stuck. Okay, hold on a second. Yes, I just found it. Okay, good. Let me share. Let me share screens with you. Let me share screen with you. So um, so basically, uh, in the last class before Mother's Day on Monday, uh, we completed these sentences, right? Yeah, we completed these sentences using may and using might. Okay. For example, he may not be satisfied, or the warranty uh, might be longer or the service uh, may not be excellent. Uh, you may recommend a new laptop. The waiter uh, might be in a hurry, for example. Amanda may not use uh, the, the new printer, for example, okay? So we completed these sentences using might and may, right? And we said that might and may, I mean may and might are for possibility, all right? R4, possibility, when something is a possibility or when something is not a possibility, all right? If it's negative, yeah? That's what we said about this. Esto es solo para recordar un poquito. But what I want you to be in this moment is here. Aquí es que vamos a estar en este momento. Uh, so, basically, you will create a conversation where you are dis dissatisfied with a product, okay? Create a conversation and you are dissatisfied with a product and say what you may or might do about it. Aquí vamos a cambiar un poquito. We will change a little bit, okay? Oh, solo quiero eh, decir que debido al problema siempre que tenemos para ir a sesiones de grupo, van a trabajar la conversación de forma individual, okay? Y luego la van a compartir algunos. Some people will share, okay? Good. Now listen, the conversation will be between an agent and a customer. Ok, la conversación será entre un agente y un cliente, en a client, ok. And remember, the client is dissatisfied with the product. Ok, imagine it's a phone call, imagínense que es una llamada. Uh, and I do it, and I call, uh, hello, um, 
Well, the agent answers, contesta de la gente. Hello, this is uh, Bernardo. How can I help you? Luego reportar, I am dissatisfied. I say, yo digo, uh, hello, my name is Bernardo. I am dissatisfied. I am dissatisfied uh, with the laptop. Uh, with, with the laptop I bought, for example. Estoy, estoy, no estoy satisfecho con el laptop que compré. And then I ask, and what is the problem? The agent, right? What is the problem? Uh, um, the laptop is not working well, for example. No está funcionando bien. The laptop is not working well. Uh, and then, all right, the agent can give some suggestions. El agente puede dar algunas recomendaciones. Like, for example, uh, you, may, you may restart the laptop. Podría reiniciar la laptop. You may check the programs. Okay, yeah. So the idea is to use may and might. Para dar, la gente va a dar algunas recomendaciones in English. In English, of course, okay? You may, you may restart the computer, for example. Uh, you may check uh, the battery. I don't know. You may check if the battery is charged. All right? Okay. ¿Se entiende más o menos qué van a hacer? Una conversación corta. A short conversation. Yeah? Remember, in the conversation, we will have an agent and a customer. The agent is dissatisfied with the product. And the agent will say what the customer may or might do about the problem, okay? Yeah. Eso es lo que dirá el agente en la llamada o en la conversación. ¿Qué podría hacer? Okay. De acuerdo? I will give you around, let me see, 15 minutes for this. I will give you around 15 minutes for this. So please do it on your notebook. Lo hacen en su cuaderno. Do it on your notebook, please. Hey.
uh, for the ones who are just getting connected, para los que recién se conectan, for the ones who are just getting connected, uh, in this moment, uh, we are making a conversation, okay, uh, about an agent and a customer, okay? And the customer is dissatisfied with the product, all right? So the conversation is between agent and customer, and the customer is dissatisfied with the product, with the product, okay? A short conversation.
teacher. Ah, uh, tell me, Maho. Hey, um, how do you say the volver? Return. Return. Yeah, let me write it for you. Oh, regresar algo que aún no That's lo right. Sabe. Yes, it's return like this. Okay. Return a product. Okay. Uh, do you think you can finish in four minutes? Do you think you can finish in four minutes? Is that okay? Yeah. Creen que pueden terminar en cuatro minutos? Do you think you can finish in four minutes? No? Five minutes, teacher. Five, okay. Yeah. I will give you five. If not, you will share what you have, okay? Si no, compartirán lo que tengan, okay? If not, you will share what you have, okay? Take five minutes then, five more minutes. Thank you, teacher. All right.
Eh, para los que se van conectando ahorita, bueno, ya vamos a terminar, ya faltan un minuto, uno o dos minutos, ¿ok? Eh, estamos haciendo una conversación en la cual el cliente está disatisfecho eh, con un producto, ¿ok? Y el, el agente le tiene que, que dar algunas soluciones usando Mayor Might, ¿ok? For example, uh, you may return the product, you may ask for a refund, or you may check the what? The programs, if it's a computer, all right? You must restart the computer. I don't know, okay? It depends on the product, right? Dependiendo del producto, it depends on the product. Okay, are you ready? I gave you six minutes, all right? Let me say minutos. I gave you six minutes. Um, are you ready? Kind of? Yes, no, who is ready? ¿Quién está listo? Who is ready? Are you ready? You're ready. Carlos is ready. Who else? ¿Quién más? Who else? Um, me, Carla. Okay, so first let's listen then to the ones who are ready, okay? Escuchemos primero entonces a los que ya, ya están listos, okay? Carlos, uh, sorry, Carlos, Carla María, and who else? ¿Quién más? Who else? Only them? Solo ellos? Only them? Yeah. Los demás van a compartir lo que tienen. Share what you have, okay? Hazel, hello? Me, teacher. Okay, mm -hmm. Hazel is ready too. Thank you, Hazel. Majo is ready too. Okay, so let's listen to Carlos first, okay? Just read your conversation, Carlos, for the class, please. Okay. Uh, uh, client, uh, good morning. Am I calling Branch Simán of La Gran Villa? Agent, good morning. Yes, I am. May I help you? Mm, client, client, today I got the desk I had ordered, but it has a dent. Agent, excuse me, sir, could you take a picture and send me the next email, clientsiman.com.sb? Yeah. Of course. May I change the item? Sure. Okay, thank you very much. Have a good day. Thanks. The same to you. All right, may I change the item? All right, I like it. Very good. Excellent, Carlos. That's very good. So you use one question using mail, right? May I change the item? All right. Thank you, Carlos. That's excellent. Let's listen to Carla Maria and then we'll listen to Hazel. Okay. Um, hello, this is Carla. Can I help you? I'm Diana. I'm dissatisfied, dissatisfied with the banking service. Could you tell me what the problem is? Yes, cannot enter the bank page. Okay, thanks for the info. You may reset the password from your mobile service. Okay, I'll try. Okay, that's excellent, all right? So problem has not been solved yet, but it's in process. Okay, thank you very much, Carla Maria. That's very good. That's amazing. So one sentence using may, right? You may reset the, the what you said there? Uh, the password. The password, okay, thank you. 
All right, now let's listen to, um, who did I say? Hazel, right? Me okay, let's teacher. listen to Hazel. Okay, teacher. Um, good afternoon. My computer is ringed. What's happened? The computer doesn't turn on. Okay, can you give me a number to the invoice and the date to, ver to verify? But I need it now. We will try to resolve as soon as possible. All right, that's excellent. So she used will, right? Okay, thank you, Hazel. That's pretty good. Thank you very much. Uh, now let's listen to um, who else is ready? Can Me, teacher. Maho, right? Maho, and Me, then we teacher. listen. Okay, let's listen to Maho, and then we listen to Carla Raquel, okay? No, teacher, but antes la otra chica que acaba de decirme, antes de, de, a yo, a ella. <laughs> okay, before you, it's her. Okay, Carla Raquel, and then Maho, then. <laughs> okay. Hello. Thank you for calling the New Start Hotel. How can you a to? Hello. Could you make a reservation, please? Sure. Can can you? I have your name, please. Oh, of course. I am Carla Mendoza. Thank you, Senora. Senora Miss Miss, verdad? If it's married, you say Misses. Si es casada, Misses. I was, I was not married. <laughs> no, you say Miss then. Si, si no es casada, sería Miss. miss. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Miss Carla. When are you going to arrive? I am going to arrive on Saturday. Hey, how long are going to stay? I am going to stay until Monday. Until, para decir hasta. Until. Okay, until Monday. Are you going to make the reservation for a single or a double room? Oh, single room, please. Clever. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much, Carla. Thank you. Uh, that's very good. Now let's listen to Maho, and then we listen to Wendy, I think. Wendy? Yes, right? No. Teacher, yo me voy incorporando. Ah, okay. I thought you were going to participate because your microphone was on. Pensé que iba a participar porque el micrófono estaba encendido. <laughs> no, it's okay. No problem. Okay, let's listen to Maho then. Okay, uh, Ajahn. Hello, thanks for your call. My name is Maho. How you can I help you? Client. Good morning, Maho. I am Asael. I could share a refrigerator, but stay this 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 ¿Cómo se dice, teacher? This desatisfaction. Insatisfied. Dissatisfied. Dissatisfied. Agent. Oh, sorry. You may tell me your problem, please. Client. is very little. And the brown is not my dissatisfied. I need, I need a brown LG M dimension uh, 120 inch by 85 inch, please. You, you may return a product? Agent, sure, no problem. You may say how many, how many, uh, how many we store it compromised her client. And, uh, perdón, teacher, me, me, ya me confundí por acá. No, it's okay, you're ah. doing good, va bien. And we are store and we send tomorrow in the morning. Client, yes, please. Okay, Mr. Asael, thank you for your call. Uh, Asael, thank you. Good day. Bye bye. All right, that's excellent. Uh, maybe, maybe I, I don't know if it's a question. Is like you may return the product. If it's a question, maybe you can say, may I return the product? Or be a your request. Sorry, ma? I may, I may. I no, may be. I. When we ask the question, you say, may I. May, may I. I. May I return the product? Podría regresar el producto? May I return the product? Okay? Ah, sí, sí. Yo le dije, you may I return a product. Yeah. Exactly. So you say, may I. Okay, in the question. Okay? 
Okay. Okay, thank you, Marco. That's very good. That's excellent. Anybody else who wants to share? Alguien más? Anybody else? Me, teacher. All right, let's listen to Lucy then. Hello, I'm Lucy. May I to report a problem about my internet? Yeah, then. Sure. What's your problem? My internet is slow. Okay, you might need to turn off the router and turn on. Right, I see signal again. I'm trying to connect. Okay, may you confirm if the internet is working good? Yes, it's working good. Okay, simple and clear. Very good. That's excellent, Lucy. Very good. Uh, anybody else? No, uh, Hector? Good evening, custom service. May I help you? Good evening. I have a problem with my computer. I am dissatisfied with, the, with this product. I'm sorry. I may, I may make question about the product try and try to help you. Of course you can. You may restart the computer. Okay, wait a moment. This problem continues. Okay, you may carry it to service. No, it's impossible. I may ask for the refund. Refund. A refund. 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 Yeah. The end. <laughs> and that's it. That's it. Okay, that's excellent. Thank you. The same. Uh, the same suggestion like uh, I gave Maho. All right. Uh, when it's a question, you say may you. Okay, may you. Okay, may you reset the password? For example, may you, all right? May you. When we ask the question, may and might are at the beginning, okay? Cuando hacemos la pregunta, el may y el might van al principio. May you, may I, may he, okay? Yeah? Okay. And in the case of refund, refund, uh, it's a uh, reembolso, right? And the pronunciation is refund, refund, all right? Refund. <clears throat> Tal vez han escuchado refund. Ustedes, right? Um, refund, it's okay, but when it's a verb, cuando es un verbo, si pueden decir refund. I need to refund something, for example, okay? And it's okay when it's a verb, but in this case, it's a noun, okay? Um, and the, the word, I can see everybody's having a difficulty with the pronunciation of dissatisfecho, okay? Or insatisfecho, sería, sorry, insatisfecho. The pronunciation is insatisfied. I mean, dissatisfied, sorry. Dissatisfied, dissatisfied, insatisfecho, satisfied, satisfied, dissatisfied. Okay. Okay, very good. Uh, thank you, Hector. That was uh, very good. Uh, a last volunteer, un último voluntario, a last volunteer. Me, teacher. Okay, let's listen to Santos. Okay. Hello. Hello, this is company of service products. My name is Santos. What is your problem? What, sorry, what, what do you need? I, I made a problem with a product. What is your problem? I made problems because the IC is no good. It's no good. Okay, you may follow some recommend recommendation. Not of no of for long time. And you may check usually the product. I see. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, that's excellent. Thank you, Santos. That's very good. Thank you very much. And thank you everybody for your um, participations again. Okay? Um, now, well, re just remember, right? When you are giving like, for example, when you are talking about possibility, you can use may or might. That is possible somebody can uh, may or might do something, okay? For example, um, oh, you might go tomorrow. You might go tomorrow. It's a possibility, right? You might go or you may go tomorrow, okay? or you may not do it now. You may not do it now. It's a possibility that you may not do it today, all right? 
No podrías hacerlo ahora. You may do it tomorrow, okay? So it's a possibility or it's not a possibility when it's negative. So keep this in mind, all right? And they have the same level of um, a possibility, right? Tienen el mismo nivel de posibilidad. They have the same level, okay? Very good. Uh, now let's continue uh, with the next activity. And for today, for, oh, for this part, sorry, uh, we will see, let me see here. Uh, the, the idea for this part of the class is that you can, re that you uh, are able to request and give refunds due to bad service, all right? Good, and we have the first part. The first part, in the first part, we have some questions. We have a question, sorry. And the question is, what options would you give your customer? Imagine you are, the, you are a salesperson. Creo que todos son, venden alguna clase de producto. And if not, imagine, right? Si no imaginemos, if not, imagine. What options would you give your customers if a product you offer is not in good conditions? Imagine you have a customer and this customer uh, consume your product and the product is in a bad condition. So what options would you give your customers? ¿Qué opciones le darían? Okay. For example, you, you can say, oh, I may give you a refund or I may give you a coupon of, or to buy in the supermarket, for example, I don't know, all right? So give some options to your class, maybe because your client, uh, give options to your client because your client is dissatisfied in this moment, okay? So think about three options, maybe. Tres opciones que daría. Three options you would give, okay? Using may or might, the same. Using may or might. And start with you may or you might. You might, you might return the product, for example, okay? You may reclaim the company, all right? Just write three options you would give, all right? Solo escriban tres opciones que darían. Just write three options you would give, okay? No more, only three.
eh, unos cinco minutos antes de terminar la sesión, me recuerdan porque alguien hizo una consulta de un ejercicio que le sale malo. Creo que fue Carla, si no me equivoco. Carla María o fue Carla Raquel, no recuerdo. Una de ellas dos. Eh, yo fui mis. Ah, ok. En lo que Carla consultó. María. Ok, sí, para, eh, no, no le solventé, no le contesté a Carla porque quiero contestar aquí en general a todos por si tienen el mismo error, ok. Vaya. Para, para, para que así todos aclaremos. Unos cinco minutos antes de, la, de las diez me dicen para, para que podamos revisar eso. So we can check that. Ok, Carla, por favor, quédese pendiente. O si no, yo olvido cuando estoy dando la clase. Ok, please. Ok. Ok, thank you. Okay, are you ready? Only three options, right? We said, all right? You only need to write three options. So are you ready? Ready or not ready? <laughs> yes, yes, I can see some people are still writing. I'll give you one more minute, okay? Okay, uh, well, if you have two options, you can share two options, okay? But the idea is that you share what you have, all right? So two options are okay, no problem, okay? Uh, so let's, let's see, if, uh, this will be for the people who haven't participated. Vamos a ver a los que no han participado. Let's see the ones who haven't uh, participated for the, uh, for the previous activity, all right? The ones who didn't participate in the previous activity. Irma, are you ready? Yes, teacher. Okay, what options would you give to your client? Uh, a client uh, option, three, three options. That's right. Um, one option, I will play the exchange your product. Or uh, two options, or would like to change model. All right. Three option, uh, three option, I can give you a royalty for the inconvenience, 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 inconvenience. Yeah, that's right. Okay, thank you, Irma. Thank you very much. Uh, remember, the idea is to use may or might, right? So uh, I may give you a refund. I may change the product, for example. Okay, if you are using I, it's okay. All right, I. You say may or might. Okay, the idea is to use may or might. All right. Uh, now let's listen to Cristina. Okay. Um, um, okay, the ATM is out of service. All right. Okay, one, please wait a moment while we fix the, this issue. All right. Uh, sorry, I can't help you to carry out 
or you try transaction. All right. You can go to the closet 18 to a street. You may. Remember, uh, the idea is to use may or might. So you say you may go. You may go to the to, to another ATM, you can say. Okay? No, teacher, no, no. Es que la, okay, le, le repito, la idea era usar may or might, ¿verdad? Para dar algunas okay. posibilidades, algunas opciones, okay? So you may okay. go to another ATM, may for example. Mm -hmm. May or might. Okay. Yeah. Okay, thank you, Christina. Thank you very much. Very good. Uh, now let's listen to uh, Elenilson. Are you ready, Elenilson? We can hear you, Elenilson. We can hear you, sorry. I think you have problems with the audio. Nope. Okay, check it out. Okay, check it out. Then we listen to, in the meantime, we listen to Rafa. Um, the three option is the, the main bus, the transportation, the main cleaner, the car, and check the cars. The may go to the gas station every day. Okay. All right, you may go to the gas station every day. Okay, very good. And what is the problem? The problem? Because the, the idea was to do it based on a problem, right? Because your client is dissatisfied with the product, okay? Yeah, the okay. client is, is, is satisfied for the service. Ah, we are with the service, all right. So yeah. the question is, what options would you give your customer if a product you offer, service in this case, is not in good conditions, okay? That's the question, right? So the product is kind of broken, okay? Good, thank you, Rafa, thank you very much. Ellen Nielsen, did you check your audio? No, sorry, we don't hear you. Sorry, Ellen Nielsen, it's... Okay, check again if you want. Okay, in the meantime, let's listen to um, Daniel. Hi, teacher. Hello. I have two, uh, two options. All right. I can change the products for a new. All right. Uh, two second. If you are not satisfied, I can refund your money. All right. Finish. Ah, only two, all right. Only two, only two yes. options, all right. I may, maybe you can say, instead of saying can, you can say may, all right. I may refund your oh. money, all right? May, okay. May or might, because it's that something is possible, okay? Thank you, okay. Daniel. Thank you very much, very good. And now let's listen to Ulysses. Okay, teacher, uh, only two. All right, no problem, teacher. So my may, okay. You might make the debit note. All right. You might ask. You might ask this con in the next buy. That's very good. Simple and clear. That's excellent. Thank you, Ulysses. When did you have the uh, the options? Hello. Hello. Do you have the options? Mm. No mucho le he comprendido de cómo me y esto cómo... la puesta ahí. Yo y la dicha como es. Yes, Wendy. Que no mucho le del May, no mucho le he comprendido, entonces como que me he quedado así en alguna. All right. Uh, okay, no problem. It's okay. Okay, uh, well. Let's see who else didn't participate in the previous activity. Um, Johnny, are you there? Alguien me mandó un mensajito que no iba a que solo iba a participar, pero solo fue una persona, creo yo, al grupo. Uh, so, Johnny, are you ready? Or oh, Johnny es que me mandó el mensajito. No. No, right. Okay, uh, let's listen to uh, Mauricio then. Or it was Mauricio. Doris. Yes, Mauricio.
Hello. Hello. Pues sí, creo que me escucha, ¿verdad? Yes. Ok. Perdón, es que tengo problemas de señal, teacher, por eso tengo apagada la cámara y por rato que se corta. It's okay, but we can listen to you. Seguimos con lo de las opciones, ¿verdad? That's right. Eh, bueno, the option. Uh, exchange the exchange the product for another one. Okay. For the product, uh, take another product of hard value. All right. Value. All right. Okay. They're of the same value. Good. Uh, it's okay. It's okay, Mauricio. But maybe you can put because the idea is to put may or might. Okay. Maybe we can say you may uh, take another product of the same value. You may. All right. Because you are giving that person options, right? Le estamos dando opciones a esa persona, okay? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Mauricio. Uh, let's listen to the last opinion, the last option. Sorry. Uh, Elsie, are you ready? Hi, teacher. Hello. Hello. Tenía problemas de conexión cuando pasó lista, teacher. No sé. Por eso creo que no no respondí. All right. Hizo, pero no hizo la actividad que estamos haciendo, ¿no? Ahorita. Eh, pues yo creo que sí. All right, go ahead. Eh, I made product change. Ok. Uh, option two. Um, I may offer discount for defective product. All right. Eh, no sé cómo se, se pronunciaría correctamente esa palabra. Teacher, quiero decir defectuoso. Defective. Defective. Defective product. Defective product. Yeah. I may offer a refund. Okay, that's excellent. It's perfect. Okay, thank you very much. Good. Uh, okay. Thank you. Now, um, let me see. Well, hay varios que tienen eh, cámara apagada. No sé si van a estar trabajando en las actividades. Cristina, Daniel. Carla Raquel, Hazel, Johnny, Elsie. Bueno, Mauricio dijo que tenía una conexión. Sí, sí, teacher. Okay. teacher, yo estaré no, participando, teacher. solo que por problemas de conexión me tengo apagada la, la cámara. Ah, ok, gracias. Gracias por aclarar. Thank you for clarifying. Yo no tengo apagada la cámara, teacher. Ah, ok, perdón. Perdón, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, let me see here. Well, yeah, Johnny. Doris Rachel. Okay, okay. Good. Okay, uh, let's continue then. I asked because I care about this, okay? Les hago la consulta porque me interesa a mí que estén pendientes de la clase, okay? Good. Um, now, let's continue then and let me pass the attendance, okay, the next time. Les pasaré asistencia entonces, segunda, la segunda vez, the second time, okay? Let me look for the attendance here. Let me look for it quickly. Okay, let's see. Carlos? I'm here. Cristina? Present teacher. Daniel? Present. Doris, Raquel? Yes, right. Present. Ellen Nilsson? Present teacher. Can All right, now, now, now we can hear you. Now we can hear you. Perfect. All right, let's see. Uh, Elsie, yes, she said present, right? Uh, present. Hey, Okay. Present teacher. Very good. Hector? Irma? I hear teacher. Javier? Johnny? Johnny levantó la mano ahí. Okay, el... okay. Creo que él fue que me escribió el chat entonces. José Mauricio. Present teacher. Lucy. Present. Majo. Present teacher. Rafa. Present teacher. All right, Santos. I am here, teacher. Okay, Ulises. Present teacher. Wendy. We are here. Jessica. Carla Maria. Present. And Carla Raquel. Present teacher. Okay, very good. That's excellent. Thank you very much. 
Okay, uh, so let's go to the next activity then for today. Um, solo aprovechando ahorita que están, yes, que hay 19 conectados, solo me faltan prácticamente de los que están conectados siempre, solo me faltan dos, creo. Déjenme revisar, let me check. Aquí, okay, incluso los que están de oyentes, esta información es importante, así que si están escuchando, por favor, presten atención. Ok. Sí, solo me falta Claudia y Jessica, de los que no están normalmente, ¿verdad? Bueno, Claudia desistió, Jessica, que no se conecta mucho. De ahí los demás están, 19, 20, y Javier, que no está. Pero con Javier no hay problema, para lo que voy a decir. Eh, para el día de mañana, mañana terminamos semana, ok, mañana terminamos semana 2 de clase, ¿verdad? No que okay, viernes, ok, semana 2 de clase, porque empezamos entre semana, ok. Así que, por favor, terminar la sección 2 de la plataforma y asegúrense de tener una nota mínima de 80%. ¿Ok? No menos de eso. La sugerencia es que todos tengan 100%, por supuesto, ¿verdad? En la, en la tarea. ¿Ok? Y, aparte de las tareas de la sección 2, cada dos semanas también tienen un examen. Así que mañana corresponde hacer el examen medio. Examen medio el día de mañana, ¿ok? Dos cosas para mañana antes de la sesión. Examen medio y las tareas de la sección 2. El midterm y las tareas de la sección 2, ¿ok? ¿Alguna duda? ¿Any doubt? ¿No? No, teacher. No, ok, very good. Okay. Sí, teacher. Ok, adelante, mamá. Eh, el examen medio está en el... ¿Siempre ahí en la plataforma o lo vamos a hacer acá en el grupo? No, está en la plataforma siempre. Es donde plataforma. Ahí dice midterm, creo que les aparece. ¿Alguien ya lo revisó? No, no nadie. yo no lo he revisado. No. Sí, es... a... sí, Carla, Raquel. Yo no he pasado de una que tengo que como ordenar la frase. Siempre me da error. Sí, ya, ya me imagino. Vamos a hablar de eso al final. We'll talk about that at the end because Carla María has the same problem. Ok. Ajá. Ah, ¿Alguien? Eh, ¿Cómo les aparece el examen? Así, ah, el examen medio les aparece, o midterm, en inglés o en español, no sé. I don't know. Yes, en inglés. En inglés, midterm les aparece entonces, ¿verdad? Midterm. Yes. Yes. Ok. Ajá, ah, entonces sería el midterm, majo. ahí aparece. Midterm. Ok. Y ahí lo hace. Ok. Son varias secciones normalmente del examen. Right. So you can check that. Ok, very good. Um, so, any other question? ¿Alguna otra, otra pregunta? ¿Any other question? No. All right, let's continue then. Continuamos. Good. Uh, let's go to the next activity. So uh, in the next activity, we have some information, okay? And this is a refund form, okay? This is a refund form. Este es un formulario para un reembolso. This is a refund form. Okay. Two things. Read the form. Read the form and check all new vocabulary. Read the form and check all new vocabulary, okay? And check your dictionary, of course. Y revisen su diccionario. Check your dictionary. Ahí le voy a mandar otra vez el diccionario de Word Reference al grupo, okay? So check, read and check the new vocabulary. Use your dictionary. We are using Word Reference, right? Oh, no, ahí está el diccionario, se quita en el chat. Ya no se los reenvío, entonces. Well, oh, well, I will do it anyways. But it's in the last messages. Yeah, I just sent it. So you can use that, that dictionary, okay? GoReference.com. Teacher, teacher, ¿qué es lo que vamos a buscar en el diccionario? Lo de... Read, read the reference. Yeah. And check all the new vocabulary on the on the refund. Okay, this is a refund. So read the information and check all new vocabulary in your dictionary. Revisen el nuevo vocabulario en su diccionario del del formulario del reembolso. Okay. Yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah. This is the refund form. You, um, you have around five minutes for this. Okay, five or seven minutes for this. Escriban las nuevas palabras, write the new words. Thank you. 
compañeros, ¿quién tiene, quién tiene encendido el micrófono que se escucha bien feo? Ah, sorry. There are some proper nouns, right? Hay algunos nombres propios. For example, Sander, I mean, sorry, Waterloops. You don't have to check that because it's the name of the company, right? Or Travers, for example, right? Or Glen Way. You don't, that, you don't have to check that because that, those are proper nouns, okay? Son nombres propios. Those are proper nouns, all right? <clears throat> No. Teacher, ya. Yeah. No me queda muy claro qué es lo que vamos a hacer. Read the form and check all the new vocabulary in the dictionary. Lean el, el formulario y revisen o busquen el nuevo vocabulario en su en el diccionario, no en su diccionario, en el diccionario que les mandé ahí a, a, al, al grupo de WhatsApp. I send a group, uh, I met, uh, sorry, I send a dictionary to the WhatsApp group, okay? For example, imagine you don't know the meaning of the word date. No saben qué significa date, or porches, or retain, for example, or records, or enclose, or merchandise. I don't know, all right? Or require or record it, all right? Or performance, or adverse, all right? Las palabras que no saben las van a buscar en el diccionario. Yeah, that's the activity. Ahora sí, está claro, is it clear? Yes, okay, excellent. That's very good. Mañana vamos a intentar otra vez hacer sesiones de grupo porque sinceramente a mí me gusta que trabajen bastante en equipo, al menos unas dos, tres veces en la sesión, ¿ok? Porque interactúan con otros, no están solo así, solitos, así como están trabajando ahorita que han estado trabajando solos. No hemos estado trabajando sesiones de grupo el, el día lunes y este día porque da un error, ¿ok? Y después nos toca estar reponiendo minutos al final, ¿ok? Por eso no hemos hecho sesiones de grupos. Pero mañana vamos a intentarlo nuevamente. We will try again.
Ok, um, ok, let's check. No, let's check. Revisemos, let's check. All right, let's see. Uh, so, what new vocabulary did you find? ¿Qué palabras nuevas encontraron? What new vocabulary did you find? Retain. Sorry? Retain. Retain. Okay. Retain. What is retain? Retener. Retener, that's right. Ok, it's excellent. Uh, Lucy? Yes. Oh, ok. Oh, thank you, Lucy. Ah, uh, is retener, right? Ah, uh, anybody else? Yeah. Alguien más? Any other new word? Enclose. Enclose. All right. What is enclose? In that case. Encerrar. 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 But it says enclose the original with the merchandise. Adjuntar in this case. Adjuntar or meter. Okay. Meter we say. Okay. Mete la original. All right. Enclose the original. All right. In a package, right? For example. Okay. Thank you. Uh, any other word? Merchandise. Yes. Merchandise. What is merchandise? Mercancias. Mercancia. That's right. Okay. Uh, Carlos? Yeah. Yeah. Require. Require. What is require? Yes. Exigir or pedir. All right. So it says all the items are returned will require. Okay. Van a requerir, right? Okay. We'll require the original order. Okay. Thank you, Carlos. Uh, requerir, require. Uh, any other word? Uh, all word quantities. Quantities, all right. What is quantities? All quantities. What is all quantities, Rafa? Quantidades. Todas las cantidades, all quantities, right? Very good. Any other new word? Only that? Solo esas, only that? In H space. In each space, where is that? In, in, in number, each space. In which number and qué número? Ah, number in three. Space. Number three, uh -huh. right? In each space, that's right. What is that, Rafa? Uh, space is espacio. Uh -huh. And in each? In, in, in each, I don't know. <laughs> in cada espacio. <laughs> in cada espacio, <clears throat> sorry. Okay. In each space, in cada espacio. All right, thank you, okay. Rafa. Uh, so everybody, do we have more vocabulary? Purchase. Purchase, all right, purchase. Oh. What is purchase? Comprar. Compra. In this case, it's compra because it's date of purchase, fecha de compra, okay? Date of purchase, good. But, pero también quiere decir comprar, but in this context, it's compra, okay? It's a noun. Uh, so do we have more vocabulary? Sure. Uh, yes. Government. Uh, este, como actuación, pero no entiendo el contexto que dice product performance. No, no, cuando lo literalmente lo traduce como. What is that? What is that? ¿Dónde está? What is that? The last. A night. product performance. Product performance. All right. Performance ¿Cómo se lo traduce? Actuación. Mm -hmm. Mm, anybody else? Alguien más que ha encontrado algo diferente en performance? Rendimiento del producto. Rendimiento. That's the meaning, Hector. Rendimiento del producto. Desempeño. Product. Desempeño. Rendimiento. Hago ese rendimiento. Okay? Rendimiento del producto. Product performance. Okay. Performance is rendimiento, desempeño, actuación. But in this case, is rendimiento. Okay. In this context. All right. So, do we have more? Senders. No more. Sorry. Senders. Sender. What is sender? Remitente. El remitente, el que envía, right? Remitente. That's right. Sender. Sender's name and address. The, the one who sends the product. Good. I guess that's it, right? Creo que eso es todo. Why más? Do we have more? Or that's it? Stuck. Sorry? Stuck in the, line, in the red line. Oh, yeah. I hadn't seen that. Stock details. I said, no la había visto yo, miren. Stock details. What is that? Valores. Surtir. No abastecer. Abastecer. Detalles de. De qué? Stock details. What is the stock? Detalles de existencia. Detalles de existencia de productos, right? Stock details. That's right. Uh, so, the stock is existencia. Okay, in stock, for example, that is very common in businesses, in stock, in existencia, in stock. Existencia, correct. That's right, that's right. Okay, very good. Um, so basically, that's it. Creo que es ahí, ¿verdad? That's it. Okay, very good.
Thank you for your help with the new vocabulary. Now, please, um, again, take a moment and answer the two questions, okay? Answer the two questions about the, about the refund form. Okay, so read the form again, read the information again, and answer the two questions, okay? Question number one, what are the reasons the customer wants a refund? What are the reasons the customer wants a refund? And number two, would the customer get the refund and why? Okay, so take a moment and answer the two questions. Page number 25, página número 25, page number 25. Este día la sesión 1 a 1 le corresponde a Héctor, ¿ok? Mañana le corresponde a Irma y el viernes a Javier, que no está presente, ¿ok?
Are you ready? Did you find the answers for the two questions? ¿Te encontraron las respuestas? Did you find the answers? Kind of. Think so. <laughs> you think so? So, so. Carla, you finished? Carla Maria? Yes. Yes. All right. Hector? I think so. Yes. Yep. All right. Very good. Irma? Oh, no. Todavía no. Not yet. You say not yet. Todavía no. Lucy? Did you finish? Yes. Yes. Santos? No, todavía no. Not yet. You say not yet. Todavía no. Not yet. Not yet. Wendy? No. Not yet. Uh, not yet. Not yet. All right. Mao? Please. Yo espero, teacher, que como me desconecté, no me desconecté, sino que fui a ver algo allá afuera de mi casa, no le entendí a lo que íbamos a hacer, solo estoy leyendo la, okay. la pregunta uno y dos. Sí, de contestarla. You have to answer, ¿ok? Based on the con text. referente al recuadro que está arriba right. o right. lo que dice ahí. No, es based on the refund form, con base, eh, con base al formulario. Based on the form. Rachel, finish. Cristina. Yes, teacher. Yes, Rachel. Yes, teacher. Perfect. Okay, let's wait one minute. Esperemos un minuto más. Let's wait a minute. Okay. There are like four people who haven't finished, I think. And I don't want them to copy, okay? Okay, uh, let's see, let's see what you have on the answers, okay? Let's see what you have on the answers. Veamos que tienen. Uh, let's see, um, Hector. Can you tell me a consonant letter, please? Puede decirme una consonante, por favor? Any consonant you want. C? C, letter C. Letter C. <laughs> Let me see letter C. I saw one letter C here. Carlos, all right? Carlos, letter C. <laughs> Carlos, uh, question number one. Okay, question number one is, what are the reasons the customer wants a refund? For me, because the product is bad or defective or because they gave him a product that's not. Okay, that's not. Uh, that's not complete, right? <laughs> okay, very good. That is not complete. Okay. Yeah, there are some missing parts. Good. Thank you, Carlos. Uh, do we have a different answer? Thank you. That's very good. Carla Maria? I, I'm only... Um missing part <laughs> missing parts you you put missing parts uh-huh okay very good uh thank you carla a different answer another answer no lucy no no you have almost the same right yes yeah, the same okay well basically uh the 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 the, the reasons are two reasons two main reasons okay number one the client is dissatisfied. That is reason number one, okay? The client is dissatisfied with the product, okay? And number two, 
the product performance is bad. The product performance is bad, okay? So two reasons, product performance and dissatisfaction, in other words, okay? Product performance and dissatisfaction on the client's side, okay? Good. Uh, let's see, uh, Carlos, can you tell me a consonant letter? Don't look at your partners. Don't look at your partners. <laughs> L. L, let me see L. L, let me see nobody with L. Nobody with L. No, another consonant letter. G. Um, D. D. Daniel. <laughs> G. Ah, G, sorry, G. G. Ah, G, or, ah, okay, so let's see, letter G. Let me see letter G. Nobody with letter G. Now, let me see here. Ah, Galaxy SSAs. Who is Galaxy SSAs? <laughs> letter G, right? Letter H, letter G. <laughs> <laughs> Rafa is letter G. <laughs> okay, teacher. Lo, lo siento, Rafa, porque no tenía el nombre y, y, y Carlos dijo letter G. Oh. Y, y el, 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 el letter I'm G sorry. Galaxy here. Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. I, I changed the, the my phone y I knew, I, 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 I don't know for the, the, the exam tomorrow. Oh. tomorrow. Yeah. But, um, what are the reasons <laughs> the customer why? No, no, it's question number two for you. For you, it's question number two, okay? Question ah. number two. Question number two is, would the customer get the refund and why? What do you think? But the, the claim, the product is, possibility is of the computer. The Did you repeat, for please? The can you repeat? The claim, the claim, the claim chain for the computer, the computer is off and the claim, the claim, I, I need the, the cost, the, I need the reform for the page. All right, so, but that's kind of for question number one. Okay, thank you, Rafa. Okay, thank you very much. That's kind of for question number one. But question okay. number two is, would the customer get the refund, yes or no, and why? All right? Uh, yes. Yes, why? Uh, for the, the computer is off. Ah, because the computer is off, or the computer yeah. doesn't work. Okay, very good. Thank you, Rafa. Thank you very much. Uh, select a classmate, please, Rafa. Elige a un compañero. Select a classmate, please. Uh, me, me cae mal, pero lo voy a decir, eh, Nilsson. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. When I said Rafa, selection of someone, I knew that I knew no, that. Este, a Santos. No, no, Santos. it's okay. El, it's okay. El, el Nilsson, it's okay. And then Santos, all right? A los dos está bien. Okay, the two of them, okay. all right? <laughs> okay, El Nilsson, uh, would the customer get the refund? And why? Yeah. Why? Yeah. In case the product is not good condition, for example. Yeah, because the product is not in a good condition, so that the customer has the right of a refund. Okay, thank you. Santos? Yes or no and why? Santos? Yeah, yes, teacher. Why? Um, because the, the product is, is, no, is no good, it's bad. The, ah, because the product is in bad conditions. Okay, very good. Okay, thank you very much. Now let's go to the, sorry, let's go again to the, to the form. Okay, so let's see, we have the recent code. Okay, uh, okay, let's see, please note. And then we have the, the, the here we have the, the reasons, right? Teacher. And, yeah. And yo le, bueno, no sé, va. Okay. Read, read, read your answer. Read your and answer. No. <laughs> no. Be why? Because each it item was not the table by line. Mm, interesting. I thought about the same. Okay. I thought about the same. Yo pensé lo mismo. 
because each item is not described in every line, okay? So the form is clear, right? The form is clear. And in the form, it says that the customer has to describe each item in one line. And here, the customer is describing six items in one line. And it's supposed to be detailed. Se supone que debe ir detallado de acuerdo a las indicaciones, according to the instructions here, okay? Yeah, you're right. You're right, uh, Carla Maria. Although I would say maybe because it's the same product, right? It's only the quantity, the problem, okay? And it says here, por aquí dice también, I saw something here. All quantities are to be reported in each phase, all right? Okay. So, todas las cantidades eh, deben ser reportadas en cada espacio. So, it says here, okay? In each phase, reveal here, okay? Well, in my opinion, it's I true. think, and maybe that wouldn't be a reason. I would say that, yes, because there are some missing parts, okay? He would get a refund because there are some missing parts, okay? But you are right, Carla. También estoy de acuerdo con su opinión. I agree with your opinion too, okay? It's, pero podría ser rechazado el formulario. It could be rejected, okay? Okay, alguien dijo teacher, somebody said teacher? <laughs> I am. Okay, uh, No, because the uh, 19 day quarantine has already passed. Oh my goodness, the warranty has already passed. Ya pasó la garantía. Uh -huh. Okay, the, why, why, por qué? Um, the date of purchase was November 23, 2017. <laughs> like, like five years ago, right? Madison, si lo vemos con la fecha que está acá, ¿verdad? Yeah, it's correct, it's correct, you're right, you're right, tiene razón, you're right, okay? And, and I agree with you too, también estoy de acuerdo, solo que el manual fue creado hace tiempo, me imagino, it was created a long time ago, I imagine, all right? Pero tiene razón, you're right, okay, you're right. Good, okay, thank you very much then. Now let's go to the next activity. And in this activity, please pay close attention. Presten mucha atención, por favor. Ese es como el main cake, all right, of the class. Now listen, uh, in, this, in, this, in this part, we have the use of good and would like to. Okay, good and would like to. What is the difference? Good is to talk about um, something that will probably happen in the future, okay? Or is to mention something in the future. For example, I would change this product. I would change this product. Yo cambiaría este producto. So in a future, right? In a future, in un futuro, in a future, okay? So in the case of would, For this purpose means in a future, okay? Would in a future. I would change this product. Yo cambiaría este producto. In Spanish, este would le da la, fe, la finalización ia al verbo, okay? Yo cambiaría, yo jugaría, yo correría, okay? I would change this product. Yo cambiaría este producto. Number two, he would buy there again. He would buy there again. Él compraría ahí otra vez. Ah, it's, a, it's in a future, right? Para un futuro, it's in a future, okay? Next, he wouldn't stay in this place. Él no se quedaría en este lugar. In a future, en un futuro, él no se quedaría en este lugar. He wouldn't stay in this place, right? And the last one, would you give me your, would you give me your information? In this case, it's different because it's a question. Es como una pregunta cercana en futuro, okay? ¿Me darías tu información en este momento, en un futuro bien cercano? Would you give me your information, okay? So, in a future, or in a near future for the question. Let's, let's check the second. Would like to. Would like to is when you want something and you ask for it politely. Cuando quieren algo y lo piden de forma educada. Would like to. Okay, let me repeat for you. Would like to, cuando quieren algo y lo piden de forma educada. Example, I would like to change this product. I would like to change this product. Me gustaría cambiar este producto. So, en otras palabras, quiero cambiar este producto, but it's polite. Easily, I could say, I want to change this product. Fácilmente podría decir, I want to change this product. Quiero cambiar este producto, but it's not so polite. And you want to sound polite. Y queremos sonar eh, de forma cortés, ¿ok? O de forma educada. So you say, I would like to. I would like to change this product. Me gustaría cambiar este producto. Number two. 
he would like to buy there again. A él le gustaría eh, comprar otra vez ahí. Ok, él quiere comprar otra vez ahí. They wouldn't like to come back here. A ellos no les gustaría regresar aquí. They don't want to. Ellos no quieren. They don't want to, ok. And the last one, would you like to get a refund? ¿Te gustaría eh, obtener un reembolso? Ok. Good. It's the question, right? Yeah. It's like como querías obtener un, un reembolso, ok? But it's polite. But the question is polite when you use would you like. I mean, would like to, sorry. In the question, you say would at the beginning and then the rest. Any question? Any question? Questions? No? It's clear. Mm, alguna... Ah, okay, yeah, tell me. Eh, no, es que estaba viendo que ahí en, la, en esta página 25 están unas líneas parecidas a la tarea nueva que no salen. Okay. Esa de acá. Nada más. Es en las que estaban teniendo problemas, ¿verdad, Carla Magia? Si no me equivoco. Yes. Yes, right. Yes. Sí, Aquí vamos a aprovechar parece. el espacio para explicarlo del ejercicio de una vez lo que les aparece, ¿ok? Ok, a Carla María me enviaba una captura en el grupo que ella las hace bien en esta parte y le queda y no sabe por qué le salen malas. Y ella las está haciendo bien. De hecho, sí las está haciendo bien. Es en ese ejercicio, para los que ya lo hicieron, se trata de ordenar algunas palabras, ¿verdad? Y quedan oraciones usando would o would like to. ¿Ok? Muy bien. Lo primero que quiero que verifiquen, Carla, es que la comilla que están usando es la correcta. Pero, perdón, la apóstrofe. The apostrophe you are using is correct. Porque hay una apóstrofe que aparece como medio acostadita y hay esa que aparece como derechita, hacia arriba. ¿Ok? Fíjese que hasta intenté... Con las eh, dos apóstrofes. Hacer... Ajá. Y siempre me da, y la cosa es que no paso de ahí. Ok, I understand. Intente copiar y pegar. También y ya lo hice. Ya lo hizo también. Punto yo también final. lo intenté. Eh, yo también, Tichel. También. A todos. Inicial con mayúscula. Vaya, ¿cuáles son las que les aparecen malas? Las que son Gulzant. Las que son las negativas. Que llevan en la... Uh -huh. Ok, muy bien. Si ya lo intentaron de varias formas, alguien que, que lo haya intentado y le salió bien que nos dé la, la, la fórmula secreta. <risa> ¿En qué, Nadie. ¿en qué, ¿Cuál era la, la, la tarea? Perdón. ¿Qué la tarea es? número 9. Es el 9 y es la 2. De la segunda semana. Sí, sección 2. Okay, déjeme, déjeme revisar porque si yo sí la hice y me salió bien. Déjeme revisar, ahorita le digo. Ok. Ahí, can you try poner, okay. probas, probaron poniendo el punto. No me yes. cobre porque no he hecho ni una. Ok. <risa> vale, mientras, entonces, mientras el Nilsson eh, nos comparte ahí si, si tiene la fórmula para, para completar el ejercicio. Ok. Applying what I told you, aplicando lo que vimos aquí ahorita. Complete the following statements or questions. Vamos a completar estas oraciones o preguntas. Pueden usar el vocabulario de arriba, ¿ok? You can use the vocabulary above or you can use other vocabulary. O pueden usar otro vocabulario si quieren. For example, I would like to... Um, to what can you say? Me gustaría que... I would like to... Talking about products. I would like to buy a new car, for example. I don't know. I would like to buy a new car. Would she? Would she move Teacher. the boxes, for example? Would she move the boxes? Yes? ¿Cuál de la tarea nueve? ¿Cuál es la... La número la dos? La número dos y la cinco es la que a mí me da problema. La tres y la cinco. La dos y la cinco. A mí a es mí la dos la, y la cinco. A mí la tres y la cinco. Vaya, ah, ¿Cómo vaya, le queda la dos entonces? Ajá, la dos. La ¿Cómo le quedó la dos, Carlos? La dos me quedó, este, puse, we wouldn't stay in this place. Ajá, sí la tengo yo. 
Y eh, al final puse... El punto. No, la tengo sin punto. We wouldn't... Solo que el we es con mayúscula. Uh -huh. Voy a probar. No, igual me sale mal. ¿Y la tres cómo la hizo? Hola, hola. <risa> la tres me quedó... We would like to buy there again. Con punto al final. Vaya, yo entendía que la 3 empezaba con would. No, yo la tengo. We would like to buy there again. Ok, ya vamos a, vamos, okay, el, vamos, ya vamos a revisar ahorita juntos. Ya les voy a poner el ejercicio mejor. Eh, Elenisa. Hola. Que... Este, sí, eh, bueno, la 2 a mí me quedó wouldn't stay in this place. Solamente wouldn't sin we. Ah, so, sin el we. Ok, ah. pero sin el we. Sin el we. Ok, try, Carla. Ok. Wouldn't stay in this place. Tra asegúrese de que usa la comilla que va hacia arriba. Ok, por Ajá. favor. Ahorita. Wouldn't stay in this place. Yo sí la tengo no. y me parece mala, Tich. No. No, me sale mala también. Ok, ya vamos a revisar ahorita entonces, ok, para, para que no estemos así como tratando de adivinar. Ok, y si sale mala incluso resolviéndolo todos, lo vamos a reportar, ok. Very good. Uh, ok, sigamos. Let's continue then. Ok, entonces ya vamos a revisar, no se preocupen. We'll check in a moment. Solo hagamos las oraciones sí, sí. que están aquí. ¿Ya? Yeah. Ahí la copié al chat. A mí me, a mí me salió buena las dos. No sé si le dan copy-paste. Ok. <risa> Ahí no están dando copia, entonces. Ok, in the meantime, mientras tanto, entonces, in the meantime, solo déjenme cerrar esto que se abrió acá. Ok, in the meantime, eh, vamos completando las oraciones, entonces. Let's complete the sentences, ok? Vamos completando las oraciones que están en la página 26. Page 26, página 26. Lo hacen en su libreta, si quieren. Do it on your notebook if you want. Y voy a, ya voy a abrir el ejercicio en ese momento. Página 26, page 26. Complete the sentences, please. Completemos las oraciones. Página 26, ¿ok? Page 26. Vale, déjenme entonces revisar ahorita. El ejercicio y se lo voy a lo vamos a poner acá para revisarlo juntos. We will check it together, ¿ok?
mientras están, bueno, si, si gustan, pueden seguir en un momento. Vale, les voy a mostrar algunas opciones que a mí me aparecen, ¿ok? I will show you some options, ¿ok? Y si quieren, les hacen captura, ¿ok? You can make a screenshot if you want, ¿ok? Déjenme mostrarles, let me show you here. These are some options I have, right? ¿Ok? Vaya. Vaya mire. En la número uno aparecen tres opciones. I will change this product, punto. I will change this product, sin punto. Y and I will change this product, sin punto. Hay okay? tres opciones. Si gustan, hagan captura. That's for number one, ¿ok? No intenten ahorita, hagan captura, porque ya les voy a quitar la pantalla. Ok, ya casi es bueno. ¿Ok? En la número dos y en number two, las opciones que tienen son I wouldn't stay in this place sin punto. Luego, we wouldn't stay in this place con punto. Y we wouldn't stay in this place sin punto. ¿Ok? Prueben cualquiera de las opciones. En number three, would like to buy there again sin punto. He would like to buy there again con punto. And he would like to buy there again sin punto. ¿Ok? With no period. Cualquiera de esas tiene que ser. Any of them has to be correct. Four. Podría ser, would you like to get a refund? Would you like to get a refund? Con el signo de interrogación. Or would you like to get a refund sin el signo de interrogación. Ok. And finally, y la última. Uh, wouldn't like to come back here. They wouldn't like to come back here. And they wouldn't like to come back here sin punto. Y aquí con punto en anterior. Prueben alguna de esas opciones. Y si no les sale buena, me mandan a decir para reportarlo. Ok. ¿De acuerdo? Agree. ¿De acuerdo? ¿Ya le hicieron la captura? De acuerdo, dice. Agree. Ok, perfecto. Perfecto. I have all, all the questions correct. ¿Quién las tiene correctas todas? Who is it? Lucy. Lucy, nos puede dar copia. Que yo iba a copia. Sí, Daniel, rápido. Ok. ¿Cuál, cuál otra? Ya. Sure. Yeah. Fíjese que igual en mi caso yo las tengo todas bien, pero eh, no sé por qué a ellos no les sale bien con las opciones. O sea, yo creo que es, es cuestión del sistema. Sí, yo creo, yo creo que a veces eso pasa porque en el módulo anterior recuerdan que a unos les aparecía, les aparecía, perdón, buena una respuesta, el siguiente escribía lo mismo y le les parecía mala, ¿verdad? Parece que pasó en el módulo anterior, ¿ok? Sigamos intentando, keep trying, y si aún así no les da ninguna de estas opciones, pues ahí me dicen para reportarlo, ¿ok? Tal vez que hay algún problema en el sistema, como dice el inicio. ¿De acuerdo? Oh, yes. Carla. <ríe> o si no, que nos mande la respuesta, Lucy, de copy-paste ahí también, las que tiene ella. Sí, porque no me, no, porque, sí, me da el yo. mismo problema, teacher, sí, no... <ríe> Digo yo porque, o sea, no es problema de, no, no es algo que nosotros no podamos, que, que, no, que no pueden resolver los compañeros, sino que son, lo están haciendo bien, pero son errores de la plataforma, no es que vamos a copiar, ¿ok? Pero el tema es que nos atrasan, teacher, sí. para continuar, entonces, o sea, entiendo, ahora, uh -huh, ese es entiendo, mi punto. Carlos. Vaya, o sea, voy eh, a llegar mañana y tenemos que estar antes de la abata, clase con esto finalizado y no puedo avanzar por... Sí, lo entiendo. Entonces, ¿cómo me van a dar paso para esto? Es mi pregunta. Sí. Vaya, eh, vaya eh, Lucy, no tenemos opción. No, we have no option. Eh, claro, Lucy claro. las tiene todas buenas. O Elenison, nos puede mandar las respuestas que tiene de así en copy-paste, que son las, 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 las tres que están dando problemas, que son la... La, la dos, la tres y la cinco, dijeron, ¿verdad? La dos, la tres y la cinco. Yes. Lucy nos puede mandar al grupo solo la respuesta así de copy, solo de copiarla y pegarla. Ok. Por favor. Eh, y aclaro que no es que vamos a copiar, el problema es que no se, no, a algunos no les no le sale bien, ¿ok? Si fuera a copiar, les diría que copiaran todos los demás ejercicios de copy-paste, ¿ok? Para que no confundamos, ¿de acuerdo? Muy bien. Eh, ok, es hora. Ya me pasé tres minutos ahorita. Ahí hay... Ya, yeah, three minutes, right? Three minutes. Ok, muy bien. Entonces, eh, las oraciones que estábamos haciendo en este momento, eh, traten de terminarlas con el would like y el would, ok? Y las revisamos mañana, ok? And we check tomorrow. ¿De acuerdo? Yes. Okay. Eh, yo solo una consulta, o sea, si para mañana, o sea, no me resuelven, no paso de ahí. O sea, ¿cómo voy a hacer para...? O sea, pues se me, va a estar, me va a estar diciendo que no he cumplido. Esa es mi, mi, mi consulta, teacher. 
Entiendo. Sí, este, no, no, pero mañana trate de hacerlo eh, temprano y si no le aparece, me manda, el, me manda una, un mensaje y la captura y yo lo reporto. ¿Ok? O sea, a pesar de lo que le estoy diciendo y que no me funciona. Sí, vaya, es que yo lo voy a... Re, o sea, si usted lo hace, ahorita ya probó todas las opciones. Exacto, por eso... Vaya, probemos pensando. la que nos va a mandar Lucy ahorita solo de copiar y pegar. Y después sí, ya de eso... Yo... Vaya, las mandó. Vaya. Probemos uh -huh. y si no sale ahorita, incluso me manda yo mañana temprano lo reporto para, para okay. ver si les intentan algo. Gracias. Okay, okay no problem. Good. Muy bien. Uh, ok, everybody. Well, thank you very much for connecting. Solo quiero ver si antes de que se vayan, si alguien más se conectó después de las nueve para no pasarles asistencia a todos. Ok. ¿Alguien que se haya conectado después de las nueve? ¿Nadie? ¿No vale? Vamos a ver de los que faltaban. Javier no se conectó, ¿verdad? Jessica tampoco. Y Claudia tampoco. Estamos bien, entonces. We're okay. All right, everybody. Well, thank you very much for connecting to class today. And I'll see you tomorrow. Le veo mañana. Hacen las tareas. Okay, do homework. Please. Bye. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye, good night. Good night everybody. See you tomorrow. Bye, guys. See you tomorrow. Good Bye, night. Teacher. Bye. 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 Teacher, stay here. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yes, Hector. Okay. okay. Solo sacamos a Ulises, que se nos ha quedado acá, Ulises. Ok, Héctor, adelante. Ese espacio es para aclarar dudas eh, o algo en lo que necesita eh, ayuda en el idioma, en general o acerca de la clase. Ok. Ok. En eh, inglés o en español. <laughs> as you wish. Um, como, como desea, as you wish. Uh, no, I, I haven't. No, no tengo problemas. Eh, me ha costado un poquito entrar en, en la dinámica del, del grupo porque el grupo lleva un nivel ciento, o sea, está, está más, más integrado, está más consolidado porque aparentemente ya vinieron de otros procesos anteriores. Entonces, básicamente yo he entrado nuevo y, y eso me ha costado un poco, pero de ninguna manera, o, o, o los compañeros han sido muy, muy muy abiertos pues, a recibirme eh, eh, en, en, los, en la dinámica del grupo. Eh, solamente los problemas que presento, que como a veces vengo, como ahora que vengo tarde y trato de hacer las conexiones, a veces me conecto en el teléfono, a veces en la computadora, a veces en, la, eh, en el equipo que tenga en la disponibilidad. Pero ya este, de parte de, de inglés corporativo o de los compañeros, no tengo ningún problema. El, los problemas son míos que se me ha hecho un poquito difícil integrarme en la dinámica porque es, eh, eh, es algo pues, no, no, para mí y soy nuevo dentro del equipo. Trabajo. Okay. Poco a poco, uh -huh. little by little. Sí, little by little. Eh, yeah, este, right. Yo creo que tantito con la pronunciación de que me imagino, eso creo que es normal eh, en, el, en algunos casos. Eh, a veces, eh, cuando se transfiere, como usted decía, de, de, la clase, de, la, de la clase magistral, digámoslo así, a los grupos, entonces ahí también me presentaba problemas de que eh, este, si no apagaba la cámara, eh, no podía entrar al, al, al grupo de trabajo. Entonces eso, eso creo que genera un poquito de problemas. Sí, sí, yo creo que de, de hecho lo que me contestaban a mí de inglés corporativo es porque no, no es solo a mí que me está dando ese problema, de hecho, como maestro, sino que también a otros compañeros. Eh, lo que dicen es que supuestamente hacer el, en sesión de grupo, para hacer el cambio, digamos, para salir de la sesión de grupos, a veces lo que pasa es que consume bastante internet y a veces el internet está muy lento y a veces tiende a, a congelarse o a, o a trabarse el programa. Entonces eso es lo que sucede. Sí. Estos dos días, por eso no he estado haciendo sesión de grupo, porque las, las sesiones anteriores, las de la semana pasada, las últimas, sí que tuve bastantes problemas, incluso un día que los hice quedarse hasta bien noche, y sin tener la culpa de ustedes, y yo tampoco, ¿verdad? Porque al final no es algo que no está en nuestras manos. Ajá, entonces, pero sí, yo creo que a mí me interesa mucho lo de la sesión de grupos, porque yo sé, me gusta que interactúen con otros compañeros, que practiquen, ¿ok? Porque hay como más oportunidades, es decir... No es lo mismo que estemos aquí en toda la clase, todos teniendo, tratando de tener una oportunidad de practicar, 
que solo estén tres y tienen la oportunidad, de, digamos, toda la oportunidad para poder practicar con sus compañeros. Por eso me gustan las sesiones de grupo, pero viendo lo del problema, mañana vamos a probar nuevamente a ver qué funciona, pero si, de, de, si de la primera vez se traba, igual lo vamos a cancelar nuevamente y vamos a seguir así como estamos. Ok. Este, solamente recalcar eso de que el, el, el grupo de, de trabajo, o sea, los demás compañeros de, 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 de la clase han sido pues, muy, 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 muy abiertos para, para recibirme en las sesiones de grupo. Yo tenía esa, sí. esa digamos, como ese temor de que al entrar en un grupo que ya estaba consolidado, yo me iba a quedar así como, como rascándome, pero, pero no, eso ha sido bastante bien. Y uh -huh. pues también ha sido usted que haya llevado bien el proceso y, y la dinámica es muy buena. Yo creo que a pesar de que estamos cansados, por lo menos yo no me duermo, no siento así como... Sí, la pesadez se siente, pero, pero uh -huh. pienso que esas dos horas, la dinámica que se tiene, avanza más rápido y pues, este, tú ya. <risa> ok, thank you. That's the purpose. Ese es el propósito. That's, that's the purpose, ok? Ok. Ese es el propósito. That's the purpose. De acuerdo. Ok, so, excelente. All right, no problem. It's ok. It's my pleasure. Es un placer siempre poder hacer lo mejor. <risa> Ok, thank you, Dan. Sí, de acuerdo, uh, de acuerdo. Es, all right. Eso sería And, mi... mi, mi... Uh -huh. Ok, entonces, well, if you have no questions, then, it's okay. We can leave, then. Nos podemos ir, entonces, tranquilos. We can leave calmly. Ok, <laughs> okay thank, thank you. you sure. Thank you for connecting, actor. Good night and goodbye. Yes, bye -bye. Well, thank you. Ok, goodbye. good night. Take care.